Hello everyone, welcome to Pumpkin Horror. Now today we're going to touch base on a figure that I was not initially going to going to get because I had it on pre-order through Big Bad Toy Store and I decided to take it out the last second because I, I wasn't into it. But upon seeing it at Target the other day and I looked at the box art and everything, I said, ah, I'm going to get it because it really is a cool looking figure and I love Frankenstein. And the turtles are obviously they're very cool. Okay, so we're going to touch base on the box art, and then we're going to get into this uh, particular figure. Now I believe it is the Raphael version, which is Frankenstein, and there are other versions uh, of the uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, probably in the horror style. I'm not 100% positive about it, but I believe I've seen them in a different way. But this one here is probably the most popular because it is a Frankenstein version. Okay. But anyway, let's get into the actual box art. Shut that off. All right. Now, as you can see, Raphael looks rather cool with the Frankenstein head and everything. Okay. Move that in a little bit. Yeah, it's based on the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Okay. So the actual uh, box art on this and the, uh, the font that they use very cool looking it really stands out especially the red and green it's a very cool color scheme and the box art here on the side all right and down towards the bottom says NECA now here is it's really cool looking okay it's very cool fonts all right now the side of it, okay, let's turn it around maybe, yeah, shows you the Frankenstein monster, okay, it is Raphael as Frankenstein's monster, okay, but anyway, that's the box art, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to come right back, i got to pull everything out of this box, and I will see you guys here in a second. Okay, we're back, and I want to show you a little bit more about the box. I forgot to open it up and show you what the poster art looks like inside. So we'll do that first, and then we'll get right into this actual figure here. Because it looks really highly detailed. All right. So let me show you what it looks like inside the box. Okay. Uh, if there's a glare, I do apologize about that. I think it's probably because of the way it's made. It's got a lot of uh, semi-gloss to the actual picture. But anyway, that's what that looks like. So what we're going to do is we're going to get into the accessories. And then we'll talk about the figure in itself. This particular figure does come with four extra hands. For some reason, I guess it's just for gripping certain things like the daggers and stuff. I'm going to show you those in a second. But it comes with four sets of hands and two daggers. Okay. Well, I don't know what they call them. Size, I think they're called. But anyway, let's just start off with this one here. Now, as you can see, it's a two-finger configuration along with the thumb. Okay. Very turtle-like. This one here is a wee bit different. As the thumb is a little different, you can slip the size into these. We're going to check the hands on this one here. See if I have to switch them out. Because I want to do it with the, uh, the size. I think that's what they call size. You know, like Chinese uh, little miniature swords. Okay. They got nice little details to them, that's for sure. Now this particular figure in itself, does, I don't believe it stands at 8 inches. Because it is a little shorter than your most uh, Necker figures. Possibly seven inches, probably because of the, the legs are short, but it does have very nice looking detail. Now, as you can see here, these are for the size. As you can see, the hands got a gap in them, in the fingers. Okay. And here are the dagger like size, or whatever you want to call these things. Okay. And the other one's the same thing. Okay, you gotta be careful with these simply because they're very delicate, especially in the handle part right here. 
They got a certain amount of toughness to them, but you can snap these easily. So you might want to be careful with that. The handle. Okay. So now, let's get into the actual figure. I'm going to shut that off. Alright. Let's look up close to the face. Let me push this back just a wee bit without it falling over. Okay, that's good right there. Okay. Okay, that's his face. He's got a lot of accessories, as you're going to see. He's got a chain. Very Frankenstein-ish, or esque. Okay, now the handles, the hands on these things, are very different. There's a wide open. You can leave them like this without using the actual uh, weapons that he has, but then you'd have to switch out the hands to do that with. So I'm just going to leave it alone because I like the Frankenstein features about it. Look at the top of the head. Right, and it's got the little prongs on top. Very cool. Right, give you a close up on the face. He's like, yeah, baby. <laughs> now, this thing's got some weight to it, too, because of the thickness of it. Right, and there's the feet. Very box like. Okay. And we'll get into the articulation here in a second. Okay. The carapace, very cool looking with the chains and everything. And like I said, he's got a bunch of stuff hooked to his shell. Or carapace in this case. Now I say carapace because Gamera, the flying turtle, has also got a carapace and he's a turtle. So these guys are similar. Okay. But anyway, that's what this guy looks like here. Now the articulation in this. The head does move back and forth, and it does move up and down, as you can see right here, okay? It's semi-loose, so it's not so bad. You can actually move it and not worry about it. It's not super loose, okay? Now, what you're hearing is the weed trimmer, so don't mind that. Uh, the arms do move at the shoulders as well as the elbows. And they got a clicking sound to them, and obviously the hands will move, okay? All right. As you can hear it, it's nice and loud now. She's right around the porch. She's doing some trimming out there. Okay. The hips do swing back and forth with the legs. Okay. Not the actual hips. Most NECA figures you would have uh, like the Godzilla figures. Uh, the torsos are separated so they twist. Not in this case here because it's directly connected up underneath. And the torso is right here. So you're not going to get too much twisting action there. Only within the legs, okay? Because they're on, they're in a ball joint, as you can see. Okay, they do bend a little bit at the knees. Sorry about that. And the feet have very little movement, but they do slide back and forth. So you can shift them a little bit, so this thing can stand on its own. And the unique thing about this is, is hang on for a second here. Yeah. Okay. That it does have the holes in it, so you can use a NECA stand on these, which I will. Even though it's got a big block and you can actually stand them up on its own. I still like to use the stands, just to be on the safe side. Because these things fall off your shelf, they do break, okay? But anyway, that's it on my Ninja Turtle, who's a Frankenstein, Raphael the Frankenstein Monster. Okay? And that is what she looks like. It's a very cool looking figure. Uh, the Turtles, I do like the movies in themselves. I like the newer movies, okay? Even the old ones from the 90s, those were cool. But the newer ones are way different. There we go. And we'll move that in so you can actually see it. Okay, there you go, guys. Okay? But, that's it in a nutshell, okay? Now, I got this at Target the other day. Because, like I said earlier, I wanted to uh, actually get it, but I was waiting for pre-order. And then I turned around and changed my mind. I said, eh, I can wait a little bit. I'll wait for it to come in the store. And sure enough, it did show up in the store. And upon seeing it in the store, I got to say, 
it was actually really cool looking artwork and stuff uh, but that's that's pretty much it in a nutshell now like I said it is roughly around seven inches maybe a little bit shorter I'm not positive I'm thinking maybe seven inches usually they're around eight inches especially if they got long legs but Raphael has got short legs and he's a turtle for obvious reasons okay but it is very nicely detailed I will tell you that all right let me turn that there you go so yep that's pretty much it in a nutshell guys I hope you guys enjoyed this we're going to move on to the next video which will be based on creep show I'm gonna have to get some information on that it's the ultimate creep action figure I also picked that up at the same time as I picked up the uh the one you're seeing now, we're going to get into that one next. But in the meantime, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell because I will be pushing out some more videos. I know I've taken a break. I think it's been like three to four months since I've done a, la a video on this channel. And I did since I uh, shut down my other channel because even though it had some members on it, uh, it just wasn't getting any action because it's Godzilla related. And there's so many people out there doing a superb job on Godzilla that... I couldn't even compete with that, so I decided to go ahead and shut it down. So I'm just going to concentrate on my horror figures and my Halloween figures and anything that's related to both of them. We will definitely be getting into all that. But in the meantime, on my next video, it will be the Creep Show uh, figure. We're going to get into that one next. You guys have yourselves a good day.